Because if you do, it'll go over into the other vein. There's no place to just cut it off. So you got this thing sitting there. This, this uh, surgeon that's doing it, by the way, at that point, they immediately transfer this over to TGH because there's a doctor there that does these kind of things. So we left it to, to be, be really good. Okay? So this guy that does them, he does hundreds of these all the time, but only six this year of that kind. Okay? So it's a, it's a very delicate situation. This, this and, and, and I might be speaking wrong, correct me if I'm saying anything wrong, I think I'm, I think I'm doing it right. This means that when they fill this, then get rid of this aneurysm, they're going to lose the artery. The artery is going to have to go away. Which means he's going to have a mini stroke. Which means that he is going to lose something. Same, some brain activity in his body is going to be lost. In the process, we will then have to, by God's grace, he's young. We have to do it because if we don't do it, one day it can rupture and then that can be a lot worse. You understand? A lot, a lot worse. We're going to have to retrain him. There's going to be some teaching, some physical therapy or things like that, maybe speech therapy. We, it's in the front, I did it in the right place now, front left lobe. So, could be speech or motor that he could lose, okay? We got to do it, though. We don't have any choice. have to do it. So I guess y'all can pray for us, okay? We, uh, right now, we've got the seizures under, uh, see the aneurysm is pushing down on the brain and causing it to do, have these seizures. You understand? We're pushing on the brain. That's why he was having the seizure. It's kind of a warning flag. Something's going on. You understand? Now, we can treat the seizures, but that's not going to be the thing that we're going to be treating later, by the way. The blood goes to a different part of the brain. We don't know exactly what it's going to change. So what does that mean? We don't understand. We don't know. We don't know what, what it's going to do. So what can you do? Pray. <laughs> pray for our hearts. Pray for, pray for Luke. He looks good now. He looks awesome. We've had the last 24, 48 hours have been special. I slept my, slept by my son and with my son for uh, last night, or not last night, but the night before, and it was probably one of the sweetest 24 hours in mine and his relationship ever. Mm -hmm. It was great. Enjoyed it. I worshiped with him. He's made a profession of faith. I did not coerce it out of him. I didn't give him sinner's prayer. He just said, Daddy, we need to pray. And he started praying and asking God to save him. And God has done some really cool things. Time will demonstrate whether his heart's there. We're going to trust the Lord in that. I'm not saying we're going to baptize him next week. <laughs> we're going to trust the Lord. And, and it appears that he is too. Praise God. You can read all the tests. Testimonies of that, and thank you for that. So, where are we now? Well, Monday, the doctor is doing another big one. This guy is already scheduled to do a big one. Tuesday, he has his own things on his plate, so that might mean no Tuesday either. Wednesday is a good possibility. We all can pray. We 